what's good josh boy ross back at again with another video so i just finished watching aew's double or nothing and the last match anarchy in the arena the elite versus team aew each time they do an anarchy in the arena match they somehow find a way to up themselves in just complete carnage and chaos they did the same thing this time i don't know where they go from here if they have another anarchy in the arena match because uh this was insanity this was the definition of insanity what we saw in this match i can't even really go into it this it's not even really a match this is just chaos you see the image behind me this was the end of the match you see how darby's hung upside down bleeding might i add this was the end of the match i knew that it was wild because a lot of you guys you know from what i had been seeing before i even checked this out on twitter a lot of y'all were saying, you know, without spoiling it for me, this was insanity. And y'all were correct. First and foremost, there was multiple attempts at murder in this match by both teams. It was just, I, I can't even really put it into words. Jack Perry is the MVP. Jack Perry is the MVP. <laughs> of this entire match damn near of this entire situation they've been doing with the elite and their involvement with tony khan and trying to take over the show hell you had tony khan on this past wednesday night on dynamite i saw the clip and he got a huge pop tony khan was the guy that dropped off darby allen with a fucking flamethrower to the show he drove him there and Tony Khan was involved in this as well. There was one part. I don't want to say Jack Perry wasn't the MV, only MVP. Darby Allen definitely was the other MVP in this match. They were they were the standouts because it just just the insanity. Just with them alone. They they were what people wanted to see. At one point in the match, Darby and and Jung, uh I'm not even gonna call him Jungle Boy, my bad. <laughs> Jack Perry. Uh they were in the back. There's an area full, a cooler full of like, it's like a tub full of ice and water in there, water bottles. And my boy Darby Allen tried to legitimately drown him on television. He, he had him under the water. He was trying to drown him. Now, this was a very interesting way of what they did leading up to the, obviously the thing that we are all, everyone's talking about on social media. So after that, uh jack ends up choking out darby allen with a lead and some type of steel pipe he's choking him out darby allen selling it drooling and then you cut to jack getting into a bus like a short bus that had skate going on it spray painted black and drove it through this pile that supposedly darby allen was laying in it was just a pile of rubbish and the the running theme and they even announced it on commentary that um darby allen's been hit by a bus twice because we all know he was hit by a bus once um in <laughs> just in a random situation a freak accident now he was hit by a bus again supposedly and he had the face mask on he had like the the um the face mask for his nose and stuff, you know, that you, some, some people will wear if you had a broken nose, you want to protect it. If you're going to be in some type of combat sport, I think he needed more than just the face mask to protect him uh, tonight. So after that whole situation, once again, uh, this really revolved around Jack. Um, Cause whatever else the Bucks was doing, I didn't really give a damn. I didn't care what uh, the revival uh, I mean, not revival. <laughs> My bad, y'all. <laughs> Some would say um, that's their slave name. <laughs> um, no, what FTR and the Young Bucks were doing, we've seen it time and time again. We people didn't. I didn't really care about it. I can't say for anyone else. I just didn't care. And it was good to, good to see uh, uh, Brian Danielson out there. But really, what it was 
it, what, what was Jack Perry, what was Darby Allen going to do? And then as Jack Perry's going back, mind you, he's still wet, supposedly, from being drenched, as you would be. He comes back to, uh, through Gorilla. He sees Tony Khan, and he grabs him. So he's about to bring him to the front. I'm like, uh-oh, what we're about to get here. Is he going to attack Tony Khan? So we come out to the front. He has Tony Khan, right? Tony Khan's there. Tell me why Darby Allen brings out his trusty old flamethrower and legitimately sets Jack Perry on fire. That wasn't a stunt man. That was legit Jack Perry on fire. I at first I was like, is that a stunt person? I'm like, no, that's that's him. They set him on fire. Legit set him on fire. And I just couldn't, my mind couldn't wrap around it. Now, I've always been a guy like, yeah, let's get a flaming table. You know what I'm saying? I've always talked about that in my videos. Um, and even those spots are fucking insanity. But setting someone on fire was uh, <laughs> in a wrestling match, legit, trying to burn this guy to a crisp was wild. Obviously, the Young Bucks had the flamethrowers on hand, and there was officials and personnel to try to come, you know, douse the flames out very quickly. Um, but you can tell, and I do think this was somewhat creative how they did it, because he had gel, he had the flame resistant gel on. But they, in order for it to make sense, obviously he had to be wet. So what they did was him being in that situation where he was wet from Darby trying to drown him, and then they put the flame gel on him, it gave that sense of he was still wet or whatnot, but really it was just a gel on him. Like, you could tell. If you know anything about, you know, <laughs> pyrotechnics and anything involving flames, if that was the case and he didn't have that on, Jack probably would be dead. Because, like I said, Darby didn't just light him for a little bit. No, he lit him on... Jack legs was on fire. They were engulfed. So once again, kudos to the guy. The guy loves to fall on real glass, cry me a river, and now he likes to be set ablaze with real fire. This wasn't no inferno match where they light one piece and then they, you know, you know, they douse you out with the fire extinguisher. No, he got set on fire with a legit flamethrower. In a fucking match. I don't even know what to say. I, I don't. I don't know what to say. Um, So after that happened, the crowd's chanting holy fucking shit as they should. I've never seen that before. I'm thinking Jack Perry's done for the match. There's no way you come back from that. You guys remember when the Undertaker got accidentally set on fire by the pyro in his entrance? And he had like, I don't know. Was it like third degree burns or second degree burns or something like that? Like he was in pain throughout the entire match. You can see his skin had wilted up. That's, that's, I don't know if it was even third degree burns. It was like second, first degree burns. It was, he was in a lot of pain. What Jack Perry just went through was damn near like third degree burns. That would, that's what it would be if he didn't have that flame gel on or even worse. There's no way he should be in the match, right? Right? Well, that wasn't the case. Darby out there trying to pretty much save Team AEW, but he ends up getting packed up. They tied, they hog tie this guy. I don't know where they even got the rope from. The rope just falls from the ceiling, hog tie this guy, and then they hang him upside down as if he's some fucking prisoner in a camp. And they're about to torture him for some information. I'm like, what am I watching? He's literally for the rest of the match, he's upside down. I just want y'all to understand being upside down can disorient like it can it can cause you to lose focus you can damn near pass out because all the blood start rushing to your head and for the rest of the match the guy was upside down tied up huh then they proceed to hit him with the super kicks upside down with the the thumbtacks at the bottom of the shoe the young bucks i'm just like what what is this <laughs> what the fuck am i watching this visual he was literally like that for the rest of the show 
I know he he was out of it. There's no way. I, only for Jack Perry to come back with no burns. Yes, yeah, he. I think he had on like a shirt. He had on a shirt initially. And he had on his pants. The pants were set on fire. A little bit of a shirt, but no shirt on. No burns at all. No, it, he looked like he was fine, normal, nothing. Went out there, hit Dan, uh, Brian Danielson with the running knee, and that was it. As Danielson was trying to help Darby Allen, he wasn't able to hit Danielson with the running knee for the one, two, three, and that was it. They won. The elite won. Once again, I, I question and I preference this. How is Darby Allen? I, I don't even know how he was even moving around. I don't even know how he was even like still conscious being upside down that long. That's one. How did Jack Perry end up with no burns? Once again, I get it. You have to, you kind of got to suspend your disbelief because he was just set on fire legit, but we know it was the flame jail. If that was the case, they should have just taken him out the rest of the match. That's I would I think everyone would have been okay if Jack Perry didn't come back in the match because he got set on fire. You shouldn't see him for a while, actually. But that's neither here nor there. Came back, finished the match, and helped Team the Elite win. What the fuck did I just watch? And here's the thing. This match is not supposed to be taken seriously. This is a match you just watch just for carnage that's it that's it and now it becomes the question how do they top themselves next time i don't know it's not it's not so many things you can do when you set someone on fire i i wanted to even use that image as a thumbnail but i know uh youtube would probably feel some type of way they would definitely age restrict my video limit the ads on this video because you know that's it's kind of hard even in a professional setting to to have advertisers have their ads on a video and the thumbnail is a guy being set ablaze <laughs> with a fucking flamethrower bro what the that was not in my bingo card for 2024 overall i enjoyed the show for the most part and i ain't even gonna really go through all the matches i will say the uh that barbed wire steel cage match with adam copeland and um uh, malachi that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that match. I definitely did. Um, Edge, bro. I said Edge. My bad. That's your slave name. Uh, <laughs> Adam. Yeah, man. You got to stop them spots. My man. I don't know if he was trying to do a diving elbow off the top of the sail, like the the steel cage, but it didn't. That landing was awful. He landed essentially. Feet first. He landed feet first, essentially. Like, his elbow did get Malachi, but he landed feet first. And he, bro, I don't even know how he didn't break his legs, knees, or anything. And you can tell at the end of the match, he he was in pain. And shout out to seeing uh, Gangrel there to help uh, Adam. That was cool. That was such a dope moment. If you know anything about the brood, he came out there with the brood team and um, you know, just it was just cool to see that that's attitude error at its finest. You know, I remember watching the brood as a kid and uh that that collective group and them scaring me and Gangrel legitimate scaring me as a kid. So to see him out there was such a dope, awesome moment. But uh Adam, no more. Okay, chill out. I think there were some reports that he definitely is is injured. Don't know how serious it is. But yeah, you jumping off the top of a cell, yeah, would probably Fuck up something. That's why I, I thought he was trying to do like an elbow drop or something. But nope, he just jumped off and yeah. But that was a fun match. But uh, yeah, man. I All I know is uh, that's AEW for you, man. That is AEW. I, I, I can't even get mad at it because I was thoroughly entertained. I just was more so shocked at anything else. Never seen someone get set on fire with a flamethrower in a wrestling match. That's a fucking first. Comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy Anarchy in the Arena for uh, Double or Nothing this year? Um, 
what was your favorite part of that match if you did enjoy it what was your favorite part of the show what was your favorite match of double or nothing this year let me know down below um and where do they go from here next what they do next what what crazy stunt will be in their next arena uh anarchy in an arena um the only thing i can think they could possibly do they would have to like use all the pyro like someone would have to get literally completely destroyed like there has to be like y'all remember when randy orton tried to kill john cena with the pyro but they would actually have to do it not kill him that person but they would actually have to let them get destroyed by pyro that i don't know uh, y'all come up with some wild stuff because i'm sure y'all can but i appreciate all the love support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still unspeeded youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace